Alright, um, this is like, kind of like number 16 in Wiley, it's in the part 2. I skipped over 15 because it's a, a reaction explorer, but anyway. So, give the major elimination product of the following reaction. So here they give us, it's a, a cyclohexene molecule with a bromine attached and we're treating it with the bulky base um, uh, potassium terp butoxide in heat. So the first thing we got to, we should write this in chair form. We know that the hydrogens that are attached where the, the double bond is, can, they can only be axial. They're not, no, they're, they can only be equatorial. They're not going to be axial because you can only get rid of um, you can only get rid of or eliminate equatorial hydrogens, right? So if you want to eliminate something in a in a cyclohexane molecule, it has to be axial. The confirmation, it's not going to come from here. It, it can't come from here because I guess I could, I'll show that in a minute. Maybe I'll try to show that. But anyway, it's going to come from here. The It has to, to be the hydrogen that's going to break off, that's going to, you know, break off and form a double bond and get rid of the bromine using the bulky base, um, this, the bulky base uh, terp butoxide. Sorry, this is coming out a little weird. This can this can be used. Terbutoxide can be used. There is going to be reaction because there is no steric hindrance, right? There's no big bulky molecules getting in the way of terbutoxide coming in and removing that hydrogen. And the hydrogen must be trans transaxial to bromine, right? So if we if this has two hydrogens on it, so this is down, so this is going to be hydrogen up. It would come, it would take this hydrogen, this hydrogen would give its bond to this, um, what's it called, this bond here, and then bromine would break off, and that would form the following molecule. Right, there's the equatorial hydrogen here. That bromine's gone. Um, you can see from this reaction, it's the, the, the equatorial hydrogen is always the one that's going to be eliminated, and the equatorial bromine is the one that's going to be eliminated. Now, when you you can shift this, you can what's it called? Flip the chair, and I guess if you flip the chair, this would become axial. Um, axial down, right? I'm pretty sure it would become axial down. But it, when you when it's in the confirmation, when it's in the confirmation that the the reduction happened in the elimination, the reduction, the hydrogen reduction, the hydrogens are going to be equatorial, not axial. I'm sorry if that sounds like crazy. Right, so it, when we rewrite the molecule, it's going to look something like this. One, three, cyclohexadiene.